Mm-hmm. Uh, I made uh, my own um, tracking hours sheet uh, with Google Form and it's really simple because you, cause you can um, modify it or edit it um, as you want. You First of all, you go to Google, you write Google Forms, you sign in with your Google Form, um, you open a new one with con- where it says contact information. You open it and now we're going to edit this. It's going to be like this one. It's going to look like this. You're going to put the date, start time, end time, duration. Uh, this is mine, but you can, you can modify yours um, with all the information that you want. Those are all the supervisions, uh, um, things that I need to know uh, and I need to have uh, but let's look step by step so here um, we're gonna write fieldwork blog here you can write tracking hours of supervision for BCBA. You can modify this and you can write date of field work. Here you have date. So here it's going to pop up month, day, and year. Is this required? You can do required or not required. Um, here we're going to put this time start time and time so here you have the clock required or not required same thing and then you can also add like this let's do add a question let's do um, end time is also the time is this required let's do this required because those are very like the most important things okay this is the end time um, I also need duration, so how long is the um, session, how long was my session, was it two hours, was what was uh, three hours, um, you can do short answers, so you just write like two or three, or you can do multiple choice, so you can do two, uh, three and you just uh, when you have it in your phone you just click it's up to you um, same thing here we can do type of session so is this uh, you can do multiple choice and write is this restricted or unrestricted um, that's a short one but you can write all of it like restricted or unrestricted gonna go a little faster here and then you can also do like time unrestricted or you can uh, you can directly go is it supervised supervised um, and here I will just put a multiple choice that say yes or no um, this is required and what I did is, uh, uh, okay, when I get to this point, if, it's, if, it, was, uh, if it wasn't supervised, that's it. That's all, those are the only thing that I didn't need to know if they're not supervised. If it was supervised, um, I will add another section with all the information that we need for the uh, supervision. So I will say add a section. So after this, it will continue to this section um, where it says, um, let me see. Yeah, it says supervision. You're gonna, do, this is mine that I already do it. So I'm not gonna do it step by step. I'm just gonna show you to you. So. Here I put the title as supervision, the type of supervision, individual group, uh, restricted or unrestricted, the client observation, how was the observation? We had the, if we had it, was it face-to-face or was it video recording or online? 
or we didn't have any client observation. How long was it uh, supervision? You can either put like this or you can do a short answer and write it down. This is a summary of the supervision. Uh, so you can just gonna write uh, um, what, uh, like a summary of what you did. Um, and here I uh, copy and paste, uh, sorry. I copy and paste all the uh, thing that you can find in the uh, BCBA uh, task list of the fifth edition. So I basically gave a, a title and then I copy paste all of those in the multiple in the multiple choice. And when I have it in my phone, I just click, okay, I did this, I did this, I did this, and then I will show you how it looks at the end. Um, this is gonna, is how it's gonna pop up in your phone. Uh, let's, when you complete this, let's say like we did from eight to 11, oops, 11.30 a.m. You did the three hour and a half of session. It was uh, uh, unrestricted. Uh, so three hour and a half unrestricted. Was it supervised? Is you, if you put yes, it goes. What does it say invalid? Oh, I put another one. Um, if you say yes, it goes to the, another section and that's a section for supervision. If you say no, and then at the end you submit, if you say no, you're just gonna go to the submit part. At the end of everything, you got your responses here, um, where it shows, okay, how many session I did in the day? Two, in the November two, I did two, uh, two session, November three, I did two session, etc. Uh, that's those are the times of the day when you do it, and time, duration, you got all your graphs. Uh, also here are the types of supervision and here you have all your graphs. But most importantly, you can see these graphs in the Excel sheet that it creates for you. And it looks like this. So you have everything you need already in the Excel sheet. Here it's just generally because I uh, use tabs here to, um, I just copy and paste in a new tab uh, once the month is done. So once January is, gone, is done, I will copy paste all January. I will put a new tab here doing add tab. Uh, so I have it like here, this will be January. Uh, so I will have all the months, oops, so we'll have all the months um, uh, divided in the um, in monthly. So it's easier for uh, to print it out or um, to actually look um, how many hours you did. And at the end, I just count the hours, um, the clients of observation and the time, unrestricted time. And uh, that's it um, for. Uh, to get to get to this link where you do that to the link where you complete this one where you complete everything you can use it um, in your phone or like save it in your uh, computer but most importantly you can have it in your phone to quick access to it you can create a generate um, or generate a QR code you just write the QR code generator in Google you can go there are so many um you can actually go in whatever it makes you do it with for free um you copy this um link here you copy it in here it makes for you a qr code you download it and you print it out um it's very easy um sometimes you need to free sign up or oh, let's see if you doing this one sometimes you don't need to sign up let's copy paste you can save it oh 
see you don't need anything here you can call it um, QR code you save and when you open it it looks like this to print you just go right here print and you can print more um, than one in a page so it's actually uh, small let's see it's here this one like six of them um, let's do a little smaller like 60 percent if you print this and you cut them um, and you can stick them anywhere you want you can stick it in your phone in your agenda um, in your tablet if you use a tablet to collect data at work so when you're done after the session you just scan your qr code and you complete the quick survey and then you're good to go uh, hope that helped and um, yeah have a good tracking <laughs> and uh, good luck with your with your exam uh, with your bcba exam bye Thank you.